The objective for this lesson is for students to be able to find the surface area of a cylinder using a formula. So we've talked about finding the surface area of a cylinder by creating a net. This lesson is about finding the surface area of a cylinder using this formula. The formula is given as 2 times the times pi times the radius times the height plus 2 times pi times the radius squared. Let me quickly show you where this formula comes from. So I'm going to draw the net of this. So this again is just the net of the cylinder. And again, to find the surface area of this net, you just need to find this area, this area, and this area, and add them together, and that gives you the total surface area. So let's remember that the area of a circle is given as pi times the radius squared. There are two of these circles, and they're both the same. So that's where this piece comes from. Pi times the radius squared is the area of a circle. There's two of the circles, so we multiply that times 2. So 2 times pi times the radius squared, that's giving us the area of area 1 and area 2. So that must mean that this other piece, 2 pi r h, is giving us the third area. So 2 pi r h is giving us the third area. And let's think about how that works. You have 2 times pi times r times the height. To find the area of this, it would be this distance multiplied times the height. So that must mean that 2 pi r is giving us this measurement. We talked about one other time that this length has to match up with the circumference of the circle. If you were to fold this together or look at this side on this one here, the side wraps completely around the circle, so this length, in order to wrap completely around the circle, has to be the same as the circumference of the circle. And again, the circumference of a circle is given as 2 pi r. So here's our 2 pi r. The 2 pi r is giving us this length. <laughs> Multiply that times the height, and that gives us area 3. So this formula and all the formulas we've dealt with for surface area really come from finding the area of the nets. It just kind of gives you a, a simplified form that you can just plug values into and get the answer every time. So to do this, all we need is the radius and the height. We can plug those into this formula, and it'll give us the surface area. So let's look at an example. We have this cylinder with a radius of 5 and a height of 15. Radius of 5 and a height of 15. When we did uh, the formula for a rectangular prism, I told you that you could assign the base, the height, and the width to any of the values. It didn't matter. But here it does matter. This is a radius. The radius is the distance from the midpoint of the circle to the outside of the circle. You have to use this as your r. And then the height is always the distance between the two circles, between the top and the bottom. So it's important that you call this the radius and this the height, or else you're going to get it wrong. And so now all we're going to do is take these two values and plug them in to this formula. So let's do that and see what we get. Surface area equals 2 times pi, we're going to use 3.14, times the radius, which is 5, times the height, which is 15. So all I did was plug in 5 for r, 15 for h, and I replaced pi with 3.14. Plus 2 times pi, again, is 3.14 times radius squared, so that's 5 squared. If you wanted to shortcut this, when you plug this in, you could have 
gone ahead and written 25 here because 5 squared is 25. But I wanted to do it step by step so you can see exactly what we're doing. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally PEMDAS tells me that before I multiply or add, I need to do the exponent. So I need to take care of this 5 squared here. So this is going to become 2 times 3.14 times 25. 5 squared is 5 times 5. So now all that's left is for me to multiply these numbers together. 2 times 3.14 times 5 times 15. Multiply 2 times 3.14 times 25. And add those results together. And that's going to give me my surface area. Alright, so let me plug this in the calculator. 2 times 3.14 times 5 times 15. I get 471. Now 2 times 3.14 times 25. I get 157. So now add these together. 471 plus 157. And I get 628 inches squared. And that's my answer. Again, area always has the units squared. So backing up, all I did was I identified this is my radius. This is my height. I plugged in a 5 for the R's. I plugged in a 15 for the H. I squared the 5 here because it's R squared. I multiplied these numbers together to get 471. Multiplied these numbers together to get 157. And then I added them together. Alright, so let's look at one more example. Now, what I would ask you is to look at this and tell me what's different in this example from the previous example. And hopefully you're saying you were given the diameter. This is the diameter I gave you, but the equation calls for the radius. The radius is always just half of the diameter. So the radius is half of 18, which is 9 meters. That's what I need to plug into this equation. The most common mistake I see with these is people plug in the 18 so you got to pay attention to, did I, was I given the diameter or was I given the radius? So I was given the diameter of 18, take half of that, which is 9. And so now I'm just going to plug these into the equation. So the surface area equals 2 times pi, which is 3.14, times the radius, which is 9, times the height, which is 22, plus... 2 times 3.14 times the radius squared, so 9 squared. Again, if you want to just write 81 in here and skip a step, that's okay once you get comfortable with this. So I need to do the exponent first. So this is 2 times 3.14 times 81. I'm going to multiply these numbers together. Multiply these numbers together, and then add the two results to give me my surface area. So 2 times 3.14 times 9 times 22, I got 1,243.44. Now 2 times 3.14 times... 81 give me 508.68 so the last piece is just to add those together so add 1243.44 plus 508.68 punching it in my calculator and I get 1,752.12 meters squared.
so that's all there is to using the surface area formula for a cylinder. Again, this shape is a cylinder. If you're taking my math class, this surface area formula is on your reference sheet, so you don't have to memorize it. If you missed anything or I went by something too quick, then just back this up and check it out again. This is Mr. Bywater, out. Maybe. Let's try that one more time. Mr. Bywater, out.